Hi everyone and welcome back to Anne's Family Recipe. I realize it's only been about two weeks since my last Aldi Shop With Me video, but so many new seasonal items have hit the shelves recently and I thought you would like to check them out. So let's go. So right out of the gate when I walked into the store, I saw these beautiful arrangements. They're $29.99. The first one has a burlap bow and the second one has a buffalo check bow. And I love the berries and branches in this arrangement. It's so beautiful. And then they also have their poinsettias out. I believe there were only two colors, red and then the white with kind of the pinkish tinged leaves. I love those. And these were $3.89 a piece. Next are popcorn tins, which I remember always getting as a gift growing up. I love these. My favorite flavor was always the cheddar, and this one did have all three, caramel, butter, and white cheddar popcorn. These next items are in the regular candy aisle, but I thought they would make great gifts. First are these hazelnut wafer cookies that come in five packs, so you could break that up and give those to different people. Also, these German chocolate bars. I was just gifted the caramel brownie cream bar recently, and it was so tasty. And then these candy bars came in packs of five as well, so again, you could split that up and give those out as gifts. Next up are these German speculose cookies, and I have an awesome recipe on my channel for cookie butter pumpkin pie that uses these cookies as the crust, so I will leave that link for you down below. There were also several new cookie kits in the baking aisle. They've moved on from pumpkin spice and now have a white chocolate peppermint bark coffee creamer. There were some new candles this time too. I saw cloves and cinnamon, holiday cookie, and balsam and cedar. These kind of remind me of a Yankee candle. They're $4.99 a piece. And I also saw frosted vanilla, which is another scent that came in the single wick jar or the three wick candle. There were a lot of new interesting items in the Aldi Fine section, starting with this pecan pie eggnog, more seasonal ravioli, there's bourbon sweet potato and turkey cranberry. These dips looked really tasty, spicy pepper and three cheese and cranberry jalapeno. There were also these seasonal chicken sausages. So they had cranberry sage and harvest apple. They also have Land O'Lakes butter spreads in cinnamon sugar, honey, and garlic and herb. I've been seeing a lot more name brand products at Aldi, which is really cool because it's becoming even more of a one-stop shop for me for grocery shopping. Plus they have great prices. Speaking of name brand, they had these International Delight coffee creamers in Irish cream and frosted sugar cookie. I just wish the bottles weren't so big because I wanna try all of these delicious flavors, but I just don't think I could get through them fast enough. These cream cheese dips look really tasty too. There's jalapeno and buffalo, so both of them probably have a little bit of a kick, but they're Aldi brand and only $2.99 each. This Black Forest bacon looks very delicious. I guess it has a dry rub on it, which I've never had on bacon before, but I really wanna try it. Something I don't really wanna try, but I thought it'd be fun to share with you is this green bean casserole pizza. Never heard of that before. And then beside it, I saw this kale and ricotta pizza too, which sounded a little bit more appetizing to me. They have this limited edition winter spiced cranberry Sprite, which sounds very refreshing. I'm almost positive I saw a diet version here as well, but it must've sold out already. And the turkeys are here. These are only 87 cents per pound. It's a butterball turkey. They also have a fully cooked smoked turkey too. Moving right along in the freezer case, there were pasta shells and pesto sauce and chicken florentine and farfalle. I've never seen this mashed cauliflower before. They have garlic and herb and original flavor. I've seen these garlic and herb seasoned fries on Instagram. They look super tasty. And I also saw this sweet potato casserole with praline topping.
Next up were a few appetizer options. So I saw these maple and bacon pork meatballs and beside them a beautiful shrimp cocktail tray. The shrimp were really large. And then there were a couple desserts, apple berry blossoms and caramel apple blossoms. And lastly, cranberry and feta pastries and caramelized onion and gouda puff pastries, which both sound really good. So then, as I was looking at all the prices, I noticed on the sign that there were also prime rib meatballs, which I had missed. So I had to go back and get a shot of those because that sounds incredible. I also saw these frozen steamed corn blends. There was elote style and also chipotle with a honey butter sauce. And right next to those were these frozen breaded fish. So there was tortilla crusted, coconut crusted, and macadamia nut crusted flounder. On my last Aldi shop with me, someone commented that they've been looking for the toasted ravioli at their store, and I found it at mine. There was four cheese and beef. Also in the freezer section, they have lobster mac and cheese. This week there was a new Thanksgiving display of potatoes. So there's sweet potato mash, loaded baked potato, and roasted garlic instant potatoes, and then also scalloped and julienne cut potatoes. There were some really unique sounding flatbreads and pizzas in my freezer case too, including this goat cheese and fig, sweet mustard, kale, and bacon, and garlic cheese flatbread. This flight of pumpkin pie, candy cane, and eggnog gelatos sounds really good too. If you're not into turkey for Thanksgiving, they have plenty of hams too. They have a shank and a butt portion of ham, plus a few different spiral sliced hams with glaze. And honestly, you don't have to save this for a holiday. This makes a great supper because these are already cooked. So you can just heat them through in the oven or in a crock pot. I like to cook mine with some ginger ale, brown sugar, and pineapple juice, and it tastes amazing. In the coming weeks, there's gonna be a lot of new toys coming to Aldi. I didn't film any of the ones I saw today except for these wooden toy sets, which they put out every year, and I think they are so cute and clever. They have barbecue, tacos, ice cream, and the salad, including sliced avocado and your own bottle of ranch. I know a lot of people love these. I am not one of those people, but they have break apart milk and dark chocolate oranges and also one with a minty flavor too. I also thought these Christmas themed Pez dispensers were really cute, so I wanted to share those. And my store now has an entire aisle of Christmas candy. There's lots of name brand candy along with their German goodies, plus the specialty select items. I love those cocoa dusted truffles. They're really rich. They have Stroop waffles. The Stollen I know is very popular. It's kind of like a German pastry. They have panettone, all kinds of sweets and treats. Also new to my store this week are these really cute wintry flannel sheet sets in twin, full, and queen size. There were also red and green plaid comforters too. And then there was a huge selection of doormats. The first set are $12.99 a piece and they are kind of extra large. And then the next set is a more traditional size for $6.99 each. Lastly are some kitchen items. They don't always carry wax paper, so I picked up a box of that. And then parchment paper is not always easy to find either, so that would be a good one to grab if you don't have it. They also have these sandwich bags with cute wintry prints on them that are great for gifting, along with these three packs of Tupperware with either the red truck or Christmas trees on them. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, follow me on Instagram at Anne's Family Recipe, and give this video a thumbs up if you wanna see more Aldi Shop With Me videos. Thank you so much for joining me here today and I'll see you again soon.